Chef is back and it's happening in six days. Six. I did not expect this to be releasing this year, let alone in six days time. Now I will of course give you my opinion on this at the end of the video, but let me touch on all the new bits and bobs first. And all the little secrets that Gearbox sprinkled along today's little reveal. The main source of this update is of course being Chef, and he looks pretty interesting. Chef has the usual abilities that we all know and love. He throws cleavers, he spits oil, yada yada, the usual. What really grabbed my eye though was two new abilities. One being his roll ability, which is shown doing enough damage to proc vans, which is, you know, hard to come by at times. And with some insane speed on it, like... He Get some serious ground cover on that bad boy. And I would love to know the proc coefficient on this and see how similar it is to Multi's transport mode too. It does make me worried though about getting stuck charging it up since standing still is never exactly a great idea in this game. I'm looking at you bungus lovers. <laughs> but it does look very, very fun. And secondly, an attack that releases a crazy flurry of attacks that kind of looks like it might make them hover a little. This could be me looking too much into it. I don't know. The, the video is kind of cut off where you probably see it, but it kind of looks like it hovers. I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. I don't know. <laughs> but again, if that has a high proc code, then that would be some serious damage. Like, that would rack up some numbers. But also, kind of a nightmare again for us Eclipse players in our permanent damage. I will add that it's not a new ability, but the ability Seer is back as well, and that racks up some insane burn. Like, that burn goes instantly up into the double digits. So ignition tanks are already going to be S tier on this week. Also, I think it's official we can call this the multiplayer update now. So alongside Seeker's revive ability, Chef's passive ability is called Chef's Kiss and it drops a little healing item when you use two or more of your abilities on a single enemy. That has multiplayer written all over it. That's good for you yourself, but like imagine your friend coming along begging for a heal. That is multiplayer to a T. And they've now added couch co-op. So I think it's safe to say this is going to be decently weighted towards a multiplayer experience, which I'm not saying is a bad thing. Multiplayer is what got me and tons of others into this game to start with. So let's see if it does the same for a new generation and maybe Chef can cook me up a friend to play with. <laughs> keep training. Oh no. Also a quick note that they do show snippets of the new maps and they do look pretty cool but they don't really give us any more information. They just sort of show glimpses here and there. And They do also show us a glimpse of an item at the end called a sail star which is a consumable item similar to green scrap although I don't have any idea what it does and there's a new alien like spike coming out of the ground and I also don't know what that does either. And Did I just see two items come out of a utility chest? How is this game coming out in six days? And there's still so much we don't know. I, oh, I hate FOMO, dude. I need to know. I need to know now. Anyway, double items out of chest now. That's balanced. <laughs> now, how do I feel about Chef? Am I excited to play Chef? Yeah, of course I am. Do I think Chef would be fun to play? Absolutely, I do. Am I happy Gearbox have changed Chef in interesting ways? Yeah, that's amazing. Am I glad they're adding Chef back? Not really, honestly, no. When it comes to video games, I never have been one to want sequels or refurbished ideas. I will always prefer brand new concept ideas or visions. So many more interesting things can come from that. Take the Seeker for example. She looks amazing. Completely new kind of abilities, mechanics, and that's with us knowing the bare minimum about her. We don't know what she can do. We don't know what her alternate abilities are yet or how they scale with anything. And she looks sick. And I will admit that yes, a majority of the survivors are from the original, but with the Void update, it sort of set the standard with two unique survivors and just adding Chef back doesn't fill me with that same excitement knowing that one of our new survivors is a refurbished one. But I also know that a lot of people are stoked for Chef coming back and I genuinely think that outweighs my own, albeit minimal, feelings towards it. So regardless, I'm going to play the absolute hell out of Chef and I know you will too. So please don't take this as an overly negative thing on my end, it's just how I personally feel about new ideas compared to old ideas. But one thing I can say for sure is that this channel is going to be the absolute home for guides and tier lists for everything Seekers of the Storm related. So make sure you subscribe right now to get all the info you need to conquer this new DLC. But let me know what you think. What did I miss? Do you agree? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm dumb? Most people do, honestly. I'm used to it. <laughs> let me know in the comments. But thank you for watching the video. It, of course, means the world to me. And I'll see you guys in the DLC. Love you lots. Bye-bye.